Hi guys, welcome to a winter chatty get ready with me video. I got some requests on my autumn get ready with me to do a winter one, so here I am doing it for those of you who wanted it. <laughs> Let's get cracking. The first thing I'm gonna take is this Cover FX Power Play Foundation. I really like this one. This is pretty much all I've been using for the last few weeks. I'd say it's a medium coverage, but it just goes on really smoothly. I'm actually gonna tie my hair up while I do this because it's really bothering me. Okay, moving on to concealer, I'm gonna be using my Charlotte Tilbury one. These two things I used in my autumn get ready with me, I think, but everything else is gonna be different pretty much. I'm just really enjoying these as a base right now. So this is the Magic Away concealer and it looks like this. I'm doing a really full coverage base this time. So I think in winter, I just really like a full coverage base. I like to feel a bit more glam. Okay, time to set everything into place. This is my favorite powder ever, ever, ever. It's a Laura Mercier translucent powder. It never makes anything look cakey. I mean, obviously, if you put too much foundation on, you're gonna look cakey, but if you just put a normal amount of makeup on it, this will never make you look cakey, it's amazing. I'm gonna answer some wintry questions while I do my makeup. So the first one is, what is your go-to Starbucks order in winter? If you guys go to Starbucks or you go to Costa or just like a general coffee shop, let me know what your winter order is in the comments, but mine is a toffee nut latte. I'm obsessed with them. Oh, I just love them so much, I can't even explain. I'm kind of glad that they only come out in winter, otherwise I would have one every single day of my life, maybe even two. For bronzer, I'm gonna try something that I've never tried before. This is the Hoola Caramel. So it's a bit darker than the normal Hoola bronzer. I think it's a bit more like orange toned. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not the biggest fan of the normal Hoola. I just don't think it blends well on me personally. So we will see how this goes. I actually really like that. I don't know why this is so different for me because normal hula just doesn't blend well on my skin, but this has blended like a friggin' dream. So definitely go and check that out. For blusher, I'm using an old favorite. This is called Warm Soul by MAC. I haven't used this in years. It's probably full of bacteria. <laughs> I just don't want to throw it away because I used to love it so much. But yeah, I'm gonna use this as a blusher. I honestly don't know if that did anything. <laughs> oh well. I think I'm gonna do kind of a greeny themed eye today. I've got this Glossier Lid Star in the shade Herb, which I don't know why that makes me laugh, but it's like quite a green color. Okay, next question. You guys can answer along with me in the comments, actually. I'd like to read your replies. What is your favorite Christmas song? Mine is gonna have to be a good old classic, All I Want For Christmas Is You by Mariah. Mariah sounds weird on its own, Mariah Carey. I love that song, but to be honest, I love most Christmas songs. To say I'm not the biggest Christmas fan, like I don't like Christmas Day, but I love Christmas songs. They make me feel so, festive and happy. Trying to talk while doing this is quite hard. Oh, this is patchy. Not a fan of that. That's so patchy, but I'm gonna have to put it on my other eye now. Oh my God, I do not like that at all. I look like a friggin' vampire. That is so patchy. Do not buy this. <laughs> to try and get rid of this mess, I'm gonna go in with a brown eyeshadow through my crease. Oh my God, that's horrendous. Yeah, actually, let's just cover it up with brown. <laughs> I've got a good question for anybody who is from the UK. I don't think they do these elsewhere, but what is your favorite tub of chocolates? So there's Celebrations, Roses, Heroes, Quality Street. My favorite, Heroes. I feel like Heroes have just got the best chocolates in them. I'm trying to sort this mess out. I don't wanna have to take it off. It's like, if in doubt, cover it in brown. <laughs> This side is just not working. Okay, I feel like I've vaguely sorted that out. We're just going for a blown out smoky eye, I think. Let's still add a bit of green to this look. So I've got a NYX eyeliner. This is in the shade Olive Green. So I'm gonna do like kind of a winged eyeliner with this. Ooh. Okay, 
So do I blend that or do I just leave it? Wish we had a live chat on this thing. I think I might just leave it. How do I do that on the other eye? That went really well. <laughs> Oh no! This eye is always my failure because this is my good eye. So I can't see perfectly out of this eye. Like this eye works a lot harder. So when I'm doing this eye, it's fine because my good eye is just open and like it can see everything. But when I go to do this eye, it's so much harder because really I should shut this eye, but I can't because then I can't really see it properly with the other submission. Oh shit. I think that's gonna be the best I can do today, to be honest. That glossy base has ruined everything. It's ruined my life. <laughs> right, I'm gonna do my eyebrows and then I'll be back. I know I praise this mascara all the time, but honestly, the Hourglass Caution Mascara comes in the gold packet. It's just unreal. It's unreal. I I've, oh, love it so much. This is two coats of mascara. It's wonderful. And now we're actually on to the final step of this video, which feels like it's come so quickly. I've barely answered any wintry questions. Ooh, okay, the last wintry question that I'm gonna answer is, what advent calendar do you get? So I just get one of them cheap ones from Tesco with like Peppa Pig on. <laughs> or Disney princesses or something. I really like the crappy chocolate in there. I think it's gorgeous. I've always wondered if people actually buy the beauty advent calendars and stuff because I've been very kindly sent them in the past, but I know I personally wouldn't buy one. Well, maybe I would if a brand came out with something that I absolutely loved, but like the ones that I've seen around, I personally wouldn't buy. So let me know in the comments if you actually buy them. But for lips, we're gonna go dark. I've got MAC Diva lipstick and the lip liner, oh my god, <laughs> the lip liner that I'm going to use is a Kylie Cosmetics one. I think it's a little bit too light but I don't have a dark one so I'm just going to outline with this and then we'll see how it goes. Well that was difficult but it did the job. I'm now going to take MAC Diva lipstick. Oh, this is my favourite winter lipstick. I absolutely love it so much. It's so nice and dark. I'm so paranoid that I've got lipstick all over my teeth. But this is my finished look for winter. I really like it. Let me know what you think in the comments. I love wearing dark lips in winter. I feel like it's completely me. I'm like embodying what I should be. <laughs> this is what I should look like all the time. But let me know if you enjoyed this video by giving it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. I'm about to put my Christmas tree up. I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go, but I will see you in my next video. Bye. On this cold December day, we are on our merry way, riding along, just singing a song, barreling through the snow.